going on YouTube and in today's video we're going to break down some of the things that you should be doing when you get out of college to secure that spot in security. Um, there's a lot of competition out there so you're going to want to make sure that you're in the limelight so to speak and that you're doing all the things that you're supposed to to ensure that these recruiters and uh, some of these companies are really looking at you and not just putting your name in a pile mixed with everybody else. So let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to want to ensure that you're doing when you get out of school um, or maybe not get out of school. Maybe you're just in a position where you want to switch into IT. Um, something that everybody needs to do is you need to network. Uh, when I got out, I started networking immediately. I even was networking before I graduated. There are um, professors that are just, you know, willing to help and, and they want to they want to put you in the right direction. And I had a few of those of my own and they helped me tr tremendously. Um, so you want to utilize them a, a, a for networking. Uh, that's 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 a good starting point and they'll usually put you in some direction of where to go. A lot of these professors are not just professors. They also work in the field and uh, they teach because they like to. Um, so it's important to get some real world knowledge from them and uh, start your journey from them and move out into the professional world. Um, when you're done college or whatever you're doing um, to get into security, the one thing that you want to do and it's going to be extremely helpful for you is to um, go on LinkedIn and just network with people. And you might think, well, how do I just network people? Add people. Uh, LinkedIn is great with um, matching you with people of a similar interest, um, of a similar job title, or um, looking for the same job title. Um, you could look for uh, security managers, uh, go after the tech recruiters. You could do a simple search in LinkedIn and just uh, search for some tech recruiters, and they'll, um, so many of them will pop up. Um, you want to get your foot in the door with, with these tech recruiters. You don't want to rely on just your resume going into the shuffle of a hundred other resumes and um, their algorithm just throwing your resume right out because it didn't see a keyword. So that's definitely, 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 definitely one of the most important parts um, of landing that job in security. The next thing that I would bring up is get certified. Um, these these hiring managers and these recruiters, uh, they're they're looking for the whole package. And uh, unfortunately, for a college student, um, experience is not something that an IT enthusiast really has much of. Uh, so you're gonna have to kind of give extra in the other fields that they want. Um, and you might say, hey, Tom, what other fields is it? Well, it's gonna be education and certifications. Uh, so you are probably already if you're watching this video have already endeavored into the education and you're on your path or already have achieved your bachelor's degree um, which is necessary um, I would say for 80% of the positions out there not that it's impossible but it's 80% of the time you need it um, and the other thing is <clears throat> your certifications so you can't be lacking in experience and also certifications. You need to get yourself some uh, real world certifications that are going to prove to the hiring managers and these tech recruiters that you not only have the book smarts in the field, but that you have real life application um, to what's currently going on right now. Uh, a lot of universities and degree programs, they're kind of lagging in the times, which, which is how it's always been and how it's always going to be. So you need to make sure that you're getting something that's industry approved. Approved. Um, do your research. I've done a video on the Security Plus already, and that's the first certification that I would recommend for you to get coming out of school. Now, here's the, I would say the most important next step um, in the list of things you should be doing to get into yourself into a career in cybersecurity out of college. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what helped me the most, but it wouldn't have been possible without getting first um, this next step in and you might think it's um, something that uh, it doesn't have to be mentioned but it really does 
that step's going to be applying. Uh, and when I say apply, I don't just mean one or two applications a month. I mean apply. The more that you apply, the better your chance to get hired by a company is. Um, when I was out of college, I was putting in about uh, 10 applications a day. I mean, we're talking 50 applications to 70 applications sometimes a week. Uh, and in and, and today's day and age, there's no excuse why you shouldn't be doing that. Um, LinkedIn, Indeed, uh, all of these uh, great uh, recruiting and job market uh, applications and websites, they do a phenomenal job of easy applies and it makes it fairly easy as long as your profile is up to date on there to be getting these applications out fast. Be sure that when you're applying to these positions that you are applying to job titles, not just of this, all the requirements that you have. Um, these these positions, they these rec the recruiters, hiring managers, when they fill out these positions and uh, put them on the market, they don't expect to get every single requirement met. So if you get on an application and it says three to five years of experience, just apply. The the worst that can happen is they they turn it down. But your chances go up the more that you're applying. So like I said get get at least 50 applications out a week and it should not be hard and if you want the job you're going to have to fight for it you can't be sitting on the sidelines putting in one or two applications a month it just doesn't work like that and uh you, you really have to focus and realize that if you want to set yourself above the rest that you need to do something to put you above the rest Next thing that I could tell you is is to really apply yourself on uh, projects on your own time and uh, make sure that you're teaching yourself what you're learning first on with hands on experience. You're not getting it right away because you're not in a position, but that's no time for you to sit back and do nothing. You want to continue to um, get on different kind of websites and there are there's just so many out there nowadays that could really teach you uh, the fundamentals of security of networking of malware attacks how to remediate them um, hacking the, the websites are just endless get out there put yourself out there try hack me as a great starting point um, and these recruiters they and, and these hiring managers they like to hear this when you get on interviews they like to hear what you have been doing in the meantime while you have been waiting to get into a position um, when they ask you the question and they will ask you this question nine times out of ten what have you been doing on your time off uh, with your downtime what projects are you working on um, what kind of uh, you know uh, new tools are you working with or learning they don't want to hear somebody that says uh, well, not much right now. I'm just working, you know, doing some side gig. No, you got to let them know that you're active, that you're hungry for this career and that you're learning constantly because insecurity, if you're not the kind of person that wants to keep learning, it's just not for you. Um, and that's not, you know, some terrible terrible you know thing there's there's plenty of other it jobs out there that aren't constant learning jobs um security is just one of them uh these hackers they never sleep and they always have a a new hack or a new vulnerability for your patch um so that's just part of the job uh as a side note so you want to get on try hack me um hack the box is great uh, let's defend.io is another great one um, that teaches you some defensive skills. I'm not going to go into uh, specific modules or platforms um, for which you can uh, get some of this experience. I'm going to do that on another video and comment down below if that's something that you want me to uh, put out fairly soon, if that you think that would be helpful for you. Um, but today we're just kind of focusing on the steps that you need to accomplish a uh, security career out of college. Last, but certainly not least, the most important step that I took to get out of college and into a security career is something that I brushed off for a long time. And I'm sure uh, some of you watching may brush it off as well. But let me tell you, it's the best thing I've ever done. 
get yourself a mentor. Now you can get a mentor from any kind of cyber security club or organization in your area. Um, all I did was went online and searched um, for local cybersecurity clubs. Uh, um, ISC Squared has multiple of them around the country. Um, and they are amazing for people who are um, not only trying to get into security, but folks that have a little bit more experience that want to help others out. Um, I went on and got in touch with the president of an organization. He got me um, some paperwork and we really started to um, network and he started introducing me to uh, you know people that have been doing this for years and, and as somebody out of college that just wants to learn and wants to really you know work their way into this into this career that that was like gold for me you know I, I there's all these people that have been doing this for years that are giving me real world knowledge things that I'm gonna be able to use for this new job that I'm working to walk into um, after a short amount of time uh, he asked me if I wanted to be uh, a mentoree and have a mentor um, I was a little skeptical at first but I knew that if I didn't do the hard things the things that made me uncomfortable um, that I wasn't going to set myself apart uh, and I would just mix in with the rest of those who were applying trying to get into security so I put my foot in the dirt and I just started trucking forward and did whatever they said that I needed to do because they knew better than me he got me set up with a mentor um, and man just what a wonderful community and a wonderful mentor I had uh, a group of guys that and and girls as well that just wanted to help um, me and get me established and I was all ears and uh, I started doing mentor sessions and I listened to everything he said anytime he said I needed to do something I, I didn't question it I just did it the worst that can happen was I'm right back where I was anyway the best that can happen is I land myself in a career, which is exactly what happened. So I can't stress it enough. Please get yourself a mentor. Get yourself somebody that's really going to want to help you and teach you and guide you to show you what the professional world of cybersecurity has to offer, how to get in and how to maneuver around the networking and um, really start to boost yourself up as one of the people that they think are the best match for their company. Um, like I said, all of these steps are surrounded by getting yourself pulled apart and set up from the folks that are not doing the extra things that they should be doing. These hiring managers are going to see this and you're going to get a position like this. As always, um, drop down in the comments any questions you have. Um, this video was actually a product of a question that I got previously on the video. I'm all ears. I, I always have my, you know, set of videos that I'm preparing, um, to do, uh, but I rather do work and videos that, um, is pleasing to the people that I'm trying to help. Um, I have my own thoughts of what could help others, but really if it's coming from the horse's mouth, so to speak. That's what I want. So drop down in the comments. Let me know the things that really uh, you're struggling with. And I'd be more than happy to uh, help you just as others have helped me to get me to where I am. Um, it'd be no problem at all. So uh, like I said, like, subscribe if you love the content. If you like the content, subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.